Silence, Brand! Every time I go on Facebook, I swear, it's like fucking crack. I, I just can't quit. It's not saying much. But Jesus fuck. Like, I, I came across this in a fucking ad on Facebook. I don't know why I click on these anymore. It, it's, it's a fucking problem, I swear. God damn it. I had, I had a million and one better things to be doing tonight, but if you're brand and you want me to be pissed and comment silence brand memes on everything you ever fucking post, this is a good way to fucking start. Being fucking stupid. Now, this article isn't really quite what I, what I cared about. Now, I saw this, and I, I do like my flight stick, so I was like, oh... Maybe it's talking about, you know, good flight sticks. No, of course it's not, because they didn't fucking read the title. But you don't have to read the title, because this isn't even fucking related. This is a bunch of garbage information, mostly, because it's fucking pointless. Most gamers don't fucking pirate their games for the most part. It's just not something that happens. But then I realized, after, Jesus fuck, scrolling way down, that I was like, this isn't really a blog and then I saw this. I was like, huh. Casper Sky, huh? What's the name of this website? Something ain't right. Why would they be doing an advertisement that's just a blog post? How to get my games from legitimate sources? That doesn't seem right. And then I clicked it. Of course I fucking did. And holy fuck. Holy fuck. This pissed me off. It shouldn't piss me off. But it does. Let me tell you. There's one thing that's bullshit. It's companies trying to sell shit. By lying. So I'm just going to briefly cover the part of this that fucking matters. So I don't make a 45 fucking 50 minute video like I did with the last time I complained about Facebook sending me fucking garbage ads. How to make Casper Sky Internet Security get along with Steam. We explain how to keep your computer running fast without sacrificing protection. On June 12th, 2020. What month is it? Huh. June 14th when I'm making this. Almost June 15th in like two hours, not even. Not even two hours. Holy fuck, y'all are shit. You scummy fucking garbage company. Stop lying to people. Now, they, they do make some good points. But they're also a bunch of scummy fucking liars. Suck shit. Some gamers have little love for antivirus programs. Damn right I do. Windows Defender does most of what I need. And it's companies like you selling garbage products to people that piss me off. Now, I, I could be a complete fucking brainlet and know nothing. And know that you're selling me a shit product. Just by seeing the way that you advertise your product. By fucking telling people like, careful where you get your games. Now, admittedly, I have no love for G2A. Yes, I use them. I still don't think they're a great company. But, you know, sometimes I'm going to have a hard time finding a copy of a fucking game that got taken off of Steam. So I got to buy the key somewhere else. Like Ruse, which admittedly I bought off of Amazon. It's unrelated. But whatever. Fuck it. I'll suck. I have little love for you. I have little love for anybody. But Windows Defender is, for the most part, what... The bare minimum. You don't really need an antivirus, if you ask me. But that's because I don't typically fucking visit shady sites anymore. It's been a long fucking couple of years before I'm fucking doing that ever again. But, yeah. Nintendo ever stopped fucking with their fucking ROM companies. Jesus Christ. They just want to give people games you ain't selling. But whatever. Every once in a while, you'll see someone in an online or in-game chat complaining about their favorite shooter keeps lagging. When someone responds to the usual pearl of wisdom... Turn off your antivirus. It is a great fucking nugget there, my guy. That nugget of wisdom is worth more than your entire company's fucking team's weight in gold. Because you're fucking trying to sell garbage. And it's mostly fucking true. 
especially if you're like fucking using a goddamn piece of shit like McAfee. Holy fuck, why does that come installed? The pre-installed garbage. Jesus fuck. Anyway. Modern antivirus software can run it without you noticing at all. Most of them don't. They definitely don't. Pop ups every couple of seconds. For example, Casper Sky Internet Security considers Steam a trusted application and by default does not interfere with its activity. As your antivirus should, Windows by default checks for a fucking license from the company that made it. If it's a legitimate company, they'll have a product license there somewhere. If it's not, and it's just a fucking application you downloaded, Windows is going to look at that and be like, what the fuck is this shit? And then they're not going to fucking run it automatically, and it'll warn you no matter if you turn it off or not. Because Windows is really fucking serious about not letting people constantly malware the shit out of their machines. You have to go out of your way to go to a malware site. This fucker is just like writing this article like, oh, there's malware fucking everywhere. Everything is malware. Your, your product is malware. I guarantee it. I'm not downloading it. I'm not fucking making a VM just to fucking make sure your fucking product doesn't suck shit. I don't need to know if it sucks shit. It just does. Automatically. By the fact that you're selling it like this. Especially on Facebook. Holy fuck. If your product was good, you wouldn't have to market it on Facebook. Jesus. Like, oh my god. Setting up network rules for Steam. If yours was a good product, people wouldn't have to do that. Just saying. Firewall. Windows comes with a firewall on Windows Defender. You're already not fucking doing very good here. You're already fucking 0 and 1 against Microsoft. Configuring rules and exclusions. You shouldn't need to do that. If your product was good, it would know what Steam is. It would know what Origin, Epic... Maybe leave Epic in the blacklisted section. They're shady as fuck. But, eh. You, you shouldn't have to, to do this. It should come with that if you're saying your product is worth using. The fact that I have to go out of my way to do that means that there's something shady about your product. Like, it's trying to do something weird. Like, that. that's a little off, my guys. It's a little off. How to improve your computer's performance. I'll tell you exactly how to fucking improve your performance. Either A, get better fucking components, or B, don't run 30 Chrome tabs and fucking six instances of God knows what the fuck, and then try to stream a fucking TV show and music all on the same machine. Now, I could do all of those things six times to the fucking moon, and it wouldn't matter because I have the computer components to back that up. But you know what else you could do? Turn off your computer every once in a while. Like, once a week at the bare minimum is probably enough to get your registry back in order. It, it's baffling how shit these companies have to think people are at fucking just basic computing. Jesus Christ. It's like, use gaming mode. Really? Because you, you literally mention Windows Defender. Which I have never had a problem with Windows Defender messing with my games. You know what I've had a problem with? Was when I used to use an actual antivirus. That would fuck with my games consistently. But you know what? Windows Defender doesn't need a dedicated gaming mode. You're not likely to experience lag with it. If you're experiencing lag, it's not Windows Defender. It's either your machine is sucking, or... You got too many devices doing too much on an internet connection with not good bandwidth. Now I'm hooked up via Ethernet, so I don't have that kind of problem with bandwidth. I could, but I'm also running seven other devices off of an internet connection that's fast enough to handle it. So you're already not doing good at attracting a, a decently intelligent gaming market. Open Casper Sky Internet Security. Stop. I, I shouldn't see you name the product and link to it a thousand times in the article. Holy shit. Not only is that just bad writing, which I can testify to, it's also annoying. Which circles back to it being bad writing. It shouldn't annoy your fucking reader. Now, I will give you this. 
Very flashy graphic here. Very flashy. Definitely going to catch the attention of somebody on Facebook. You did it here. You caught my attention. I saw a nice looking flight stick. And I was like, man, that looks pretty good. Wonder what this is about. And then, then you, you, you dropped the ball like three seconds after I was done looking through it and realizing it was garbage. Your whole thing is garbage. Now, I want to go through here. Here's your products page. Go the fuck out of here with you trying to sell stuff to me. Just stop. Just stop. Like, ooh, you can get it for $29.99? 50% off. Ooh, that's a that's a terrible fucking deal. This Windows Defender is free. And it's definitely not the problem. But you're recommending that $49.99 total security. What the fuck does premium security mean? Premium security and antivirus. Blocks viruses and cryptocurrency mining malware. You shouldn't be on a site where you're going to get these things to begin with. Okay, you just shouldn't be. You shouldn't be on a site where you're going to get those. But if you are, the first thing you shouldn't do is, you know, fucking buy garbage to fix a problem because windows defender by default is going to catch stuff like that so long as it's like not bam we just created this right now it's completely original windows defender will probably catch it but like holy shit on pc mac and mobile no nobody is gonna there's no way you have 7,000 reviews. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. No fucking way. Strong protection. Although I do not use my computer very much, it's already a, a perfectly acceptable reason to know that this person doesn't know what they're talking about. I appreciate it, and so does my husband with his laptop. Windows Defender, guys. Just Windows Defender. It protects you in pretty much everything you do, even when... This is weird. Stop. Ew disgusting it's it, it's written so fucking obviously cringe i don't even think this is a real person just no fucking way i've been using casper sky for a number of years really really you've been using it for years five star really Let, let's see let's see what the fucking the one star ratings say huh oh the no one star ratings i fucking don't believe it i don't fucking believe it i don't fucking believe it no one star ratings really None. There isn't a product sold on this planet that hasn't gotten a one-star rating. And the lowest you got is a three? No fucking way. Y you're fucking with us. There's no way. Concept is excellent. It's not easy to remember 30 more... What the fuck? What the fuck? Bruh. What the fuck? Guy. Uh, what the fuck it hits an enter? You know what? I'm not even gonna complain about that. You just gave me an aneurysm, guy. Fuck off. Ant 101. What? The fuck kind of? You know what? I don't even want to know. That's just your. You gotta be shitting me. Good product. However, wish you offer version with VPN. Jesus Christ. See if you need a VPN. Buy a VPN. Don't buy a fucking antivirus. Because the, the, the people selling an antivirus, probably not going to do a good job making a VPN. They're not the same thing at all. And I don't trust VPNs very often either. But holy fuck. There was one four star. The, one four star review fucking looked legitimate. Is this. This is the only one that looks legitimate. All these other ones are weird. This this is weird. That's stop. Irrelevant. Doesn't matter to most people, or at least it shouldn't. Uh, function normally. Yeah, that's a problem. But why'd you give it a four star? Best antivirus I have used. Yeah, no. You don't need an antivirus guy. You you need to learn how to fucking capitalize. Also, what the fuck? That good. 
Let's just talk about something else real quick, by the way. Because if you look at all of these, 2020, 2020, 2020, on the 5th, fucking, th this is weird. This is weird. Weird, weird. Why are these all on the same date? Why? What is this? Stop. All of your reviews are from 2020. Book customers since 2014 posted 2020. Really? All of these people, 2020. All of them. I should have started with the 2020 being the only date that I'm fucking seeing. That's that's shady as fuck, guy. Shady as fuck. Well, fucking sell me your garbage. How can we help? Security tips. That's what I want to know. You've entered an empty search. Top five searches. Okay. Uninstall is in your top five searches. Thank God. That means that there's some smart motherfuckers out there. Uninstall is in your top five. Windows 10. What? What? What the fuck? Now I have to know. That's too weird. Why is Windows 10 in your search? Compatibility with Windows 10. Compatibility. 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 There shouldn't be this many people asking if your shit's compatible with Windows 10. That it, there really shouldn't be. That's a problem. What is this? What the fuck? Like, this is your number one search. Removal tool. Don't use it unless it's recommended by fucking... You have got to be kidding me. I'm fucking done. I'm so fucking done. Stop! Silence brand! You're, you're not fucking fooling me. You're not fooling me. I hope you don't fool anybody. This looks like garbage. For home? Fuck off. For business? Doubly fuck off. Holy shit. How are you making any sales with this garbage? Located in Switzerland. God damn. You cannot be serious. 2020 Casper Sky Lab. You can't be fucking serious. You, you can't be fucking serious. Let's read this About Us page just to see what these fucks are doing. Oh my god. There's a global cyber security company founded in 1997. Deep threat intelligence security expertise is constantly transforming the innovative security solutions and services to protect businesses, critical infrastructure, governments, consumers around the globe. Then why are all of your reviews from 2020? Why is there none that I could see? Holy fuck! You cannot be serious. You just can't. Casper Sky... Did you recommend your own shit? Not found! What? 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 It's not found? You got an award! And it's not even here! <laughs> what the fuck? You can't make this up! What the fuck? Are any of these going to redirect to you actually winning an award? Not been successfully tested since 2019. It hasn't even been tested this year. And you're fucking not even listed on one of your links. I clicked it twice just to make sure that wasn't fucking stupid. But no, no, it really happened. Why do you have this listed twice? This is just a fucking image. This is literally just an image. The same fucking image, by the way, except for the text. What? What? What is this? What is this fucking garbage that you are peddling? You cannot be serious. Why are you even? Oh my god, no. No way. You guys are the webroot people, aren't you? Oh my god? Oh no, you're not webroot. Are you webroot? 
what the fuck is this garbage? I used to use Webroot. And it was trash. <laughs> it was literally garbage. Oh my god. What the fuck? What even? You cannot be serious. Certified Android. You didn't even get your PC version certified through these guys. They thought you were fucking trash enough to only give you the Android. Oh my god. PC mag would. Of course you fuckers would. Of course. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. MSRP. $79.99. $39.99. You aren't even fucking trying. You're not even trying to hide how trash your product is. It was never $79.99. It never was. It was always $39.99, wasn't it? You just say that to make it look like this. Your product is trash. Just stop. Like, oh my god, it's trash. The further I dig into this rabbit hole, the more trash it is. Why does your shit 404 when looking for where you fucking got an award from them? Why? These are things that you need to think about. If you're going to buy from these companies, look into them. And then look into what Windows fucking Defender does that they don't. It's a guarantee Windows Defender works. I have never had problems. I've had this computer with no antivirus running Windows Defender, and it catches it every time there's something stupid. Now, I monitor my shit myself. So I'll go through and fucking look through the fucking running applications and be like, all right, I installed that. I installed that. I don't know what that is. And then I'll look into what it is. And then I fucking get rid of it if it's bad and keep it if it's something I fucking didn't remember I was using and continue with my day. Point here, be proactive. But you don't need to listen to these companies. Don't listen to fear mongering. Most importantly, don't forget to read the fucking title of the article just because it has a picture of something you think you might be interested in reading about. Anyway, I'm fucking out of here. Just beat my car door with my head, please. Just take it and just... Mm! Thank you very much.